Hey everyone, it's Amanda and Monica Olumi, and we are here today with the new design called Anchors Away. It is a hook only design, and it was designed by our friend Crafty Christy on Instagram. She asked us if we could make a tutorial for her design, and we said, Of course. She also asked us if we could name her new bracelet design. So we started looking at it while we were making our color choices and we thought that each one of these little circle type things looked kind of like a ship's anchor. And anchors make us think of the Navy and the Navy is very close to Amanda and myself's hearts because we have either had family in the Navy or we still have family that is in the Navy and serving. Amanda's hub, husband Andy is in the was in the Navy and he is now retired from the Navy. So Amanda loved this bracelet when she saw it. This bracelet is going to be going to her right after this tutorial. She loved the anchors on it. A little bit of bling on it for her. We put five anchor charms on here and they're very simple to put onto this bracelet. On each one of these anchors there are two little holes and we put one band of jelly gold through there. Since the jelly gold is nice and stretchy we put a, the one band through those two holes and then we got the rest of the band and put it around the bracelet and just slid each one of them onto the bracelet. So if you want to remove these later on, you can. It is very easy to do, but it will not fall off either. They are very secure on there. But if you want them to be removable later on, they can. We would say if you want to bling this bracelet to either do either or, not do both, to either do some big pieces on it, a, a few big pieces, or do a good amount of smaller beads, like six E beads. Um, I wouldn't do this large of a um, bling on a bracelet and also do beads just because of the size of how small of this bracelet is, I would either do the small beads or these little bling charms. So that's just our opinion, but that's how, that's how we roll. All right, now let's get on to the color choices. The, this one is in the 100% silicone bands and it is using the Sweets collection, my ultimate favorite collection. I love every single Sweets Collection color and I have every single one. I'm so excited. I don't even know if I can name a favorite. It would be between the gray and the baby pink, but oh my goodness, I love them. I love them. All right, so this is the Navy Sweets. We have the baby pink Sweets, the white Sweets, which is a new seriously favorite one and we have the brown sweets which I've been using a lot of and I didn't know that I would I just I just think that is so gorgeous now on our blinged version we went kind of simple with this one because we knew that the bling was gonna take over but we wanted it to stand out as well so we did pastel blue from the pastel pack we did the salmon red color from the pastel pack because we just think that's very nice together, especially with the navy opaque and the white. And to add a little extra zing, we have the gold silicone bands. All right, and this one is the color scheme that Crafty Christy sent us, and this is what we are going to be doing in the tutorial today. We absolutely loved this color scheme. This color scheme has five colors. All of these color schemes have five colors. But this one is including the purple, 
the blue and the gold metallic 100% silicone bands and it is also including the Learning Express exclusive rainbow loom blue glitter blue and glitter pink bands so this is the one we will be doing today in the tutorial now sizing for an average size wrist you will need 10 of these little anchors all right this one is for an average size wrist and it has 10 anchors for a wrist that is around my size you will need 12 to 13 anchors if you don't want to call them anchors 12 to 13 of these little circles all right let's get to starting the tutorial this is a hook only I'm going to be using the rainbow loom metal tipped hook because we are just flipping around once every time we do one of these little anchors but to help for tutorial purposes because there's one thing one part where I'm gonna have to flip it over I want to use this hook with this just so my fingers aren't in the way so go get your hook and come right back so to start us off we have our rainbow loom hook and I have a pink glitter band I'm going to triple cap one one two three now if you feel more comfortable with your bottom band just being a regular double cap band you can do just a regular cap band here at the bottom Amanda and I like to have a triple cap just to feel more secure now our next band choice is going to be a metallic blue and the metallic purple you're gonna hold it on your hook and you're gonna pull the cap band through This is starting our bracelet. It's going to be the bottom of our bracelet. All right, so yours should look like this. Now we're going to grab a glitter blue and we're going to hold it with one finger. We're going to pull over the purple metallic and the blue metallic. Scooch over the glitter blue reclaim the blue metallic now this is the part where I'm going to be using an extra tool so that my fingers aren't in the way so here we have the the blue metallic and the glitter blue I'm going to grab the glitter blue and pull it over the hook without pulling the blue metallic over with it. I still have the other end of it right here, but I've pulled the one end of it over. And it is right here. So now I'm gonna reclaim the other end. I'm gonna grab a pink glitter. So I'm going to put the pink glitter, and I'm going to put the blue glitter through the pink and the blue metallic through the pink and reclaim the other end of the pink glitter. Now yours should look like this. It's off center right now because we haven't done this side. What we're going to have to do now is we're going to take it off of the hook, hold tight, you should have four ends. Take it off of the hook, turn it around, and yours should look like this. You're going to grab another blue glitter. This is the toughest part. Put the glue glitter on the hook. You're going to pull over the purple and blue metallic. Pull the glue, blue glitter over and you're going to reclaim the blue metallic. Then this is where 
you're going to flip over while still holding the opposite end. You're going to flip over the one end of that glitter blue metallic. Glitter blue metallic. Glitter blue, sorry. And reclaim the other end. Now I'm going to put a, a glitter pink on. I'm going to grab the glitter blue and the blue metallic. And then reclaim the other end of the glitter pink. So yours should look like this. Now we are going to grab a gold and we're going to slide all of the glitter pinks onto the gold. While you still have the one end of the gold on the hook and the other on your finger, you're going to go in and grab the two glitter pinks in the middle, reclaim them, and then reclaim the other gold band. So yours should look like this. This is the complete order. Now I think I'm going to try and show you the glitter blues without using the other hook this time and see which one is easier for you to see. Okay, now we are grabbing the purple and blue metallic. We're going to slide all four of these bands onto the purple and blue metallic making sure that they stay in the correct order. So the pink glitters need to be in the middle and reclaim the other end. I always like to make sure that the blue's in the middle. It's not a necessary, but it just kind of helps. All right, now we're going to grab, or if you don't have blue, it could be whatever color you have. We're gonna grab another glitter blue we're going to pull over the, the metallic purple and metallic blue, hold on to the glitter blue, and reclaim the blue metallic. Then grab the glitter blue and flip it over while still holding on to the other end. Then reclaim the other end of the glitter blue. Grab a glitter pink, pull over the glitter blue, and the blue metallic. And now we are going to flip it. Make sure you keep your bands in the correct order. It's, it's a, a lot easier than some because there's only four. Now we're going to grab our glitter blue. We're going to pull our metallic purple and metallic blue through. Holding on to the glitter blue. Reclaim the blue metallic. And pull over the glitter blue making sure that it goes over top of the blue metallic. Then reclaim the other end of the glitter blue. Grab a glitter pink. Pull over the glitter blue and the blue metallic. Reclaim the other end of the glitter pink and then grab a gold and pull all four of those glitter pinks over. And you're going to reclaim the two center glitter pink bands. Making sure that the two center pink bands stay in the middle of the two gold bands. All right, I'm going to do this one more time for you and then I'm going to go off camera and do the rest. 
All right, I grabbed a blue and a purple metallic again, pull it through the gold and the pink, making sure the gold and the pink stay in the correct position. Try and keep your color that you're going to be twisting around your next color in the middle. So the blue is in the middle. I have my glitter blue. Now I'm going to pull over the purple and the blue metallic. Reclaim the blue metallic. Pull over the glitter blue. Leaving the blue metallic on the hook. And reclaim the other end of the glitter blue. Grab a glitter pink. Pull over the glitter blue and the blue metallic. Reclaim the other end of the glitter pink. Now grab all four and let's flip. All right, let's grab our glitter blue. Pull it over the purple and the blue metallic. Reclaim the blue metallic. Pull the blue glitter over top of the blue metallic. They got mixed up. Pull your glitter blue over top of your blue metallic. And then reclaim the other end of your glitter blue. Grab a glitter pink, pull over the glitter blue and the metallic blue, reclaim the other end, and then grab a gold, and pull all four of those pink glitters on, and reclaim two, the middle ones, and the other end of the gold. All right, I'm going to go off camera and do the last seven, and I'm going to come back and show you how to do the closure. Be right back. All right, so I have ten of my little anchors on here, and I just finished up my tenth one here. Now, there are two ways that you can close this up. Now, you can either go on and grab a purple and a blue and close this up and just grab all four of those bands on there like that or if you want the same color that is at the end to be on this end you're gonna grab two of those colors so we're gonna grab two of the pink glitter bands and pull them through all four of the bands that were left and then we will grab a stick clip and pull them through the C clip and then we are done now remember this is going to fit an average size wrist if you want it to fit a larger wrist, you need to make 12 to 13 of the little anchors. But this is going to fit any average size wrist. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for Crafty Christie's Anchors Away. We absolutely adore it. It's very near and dear to our hearts. So if you decide to make this bracelet, would you please tag and hashtag Crafty Christie on Instagram. If you, here's her Instagram again, first of all, Crafty Christie. And if you decide to make it, we always love to see any of your renditions, especially blinged ones. Please tag and hashtag, hashtag us. Also, if you liked this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. 
if you liked how everything went in the video, can you give us a big thumbs up? If you have any recommendations or any different um, bracelets that you think have not already been made and you think maybe that we could do a tutorial on other than the ones that that we make up that are designs um, just inbox us or um, DM us on fa uh, not Facebook um, Instagram we are on Facebook you can inbox us on Facebook also we want to wish you all a very happy day and hope that you have a great looming day. So loom for a cause and rainbow loom for a cause. Have a great one, guys. Bye.